Uh, today we're going to find out how come I got low hash rate out of one of my miners. I brought it inside so I can run some tests on it and replace the hash board if I need to. I got a few spare hash boards. First thing you need to do is go into your router. That's the easiest way for me to find my IP address. I'm already in my router now. Let's see, let's go to status and client list. And my IP for this one is going to be 192.168.50.45. Okay, so I open up another window here and type in that IP address. It already has my password and stuff saved, but the default for these miners is username is root, password's root until you set it up. Okay, let's take a look and see which board gives us an issue here. Miner status. Oh, well, that's easy to spot right off the get-go. Look like it's going to be board one. See all the X's? It's not uh, reading the chips on that board. So we're going to change out uh, the hash board one on this miner. All right, let me unplug the power. And all, on your miner here, looking at the back of the miner where all the power goes in. The boards are in backwards. The board one is going to be on the right hand side. Board four is going to be on the left hand side. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. And uh, we'll go ahead and take this apart and replace that board and see if that solves the problem. Okay. Turn it up on end. Doing this with one hand here. This is really easy. If you haven't changed one out before, don't let it scare you. You'll see how easy it is as soon as I open this up. Throw this off to the side. This is the one we just unhooked. Remember, right to left. One, two, three, four. And it was board one that uh, wasn't reading the chips. As you can see, the board just slide in and slide out. They got little grooves on the side, right there, on the top, and on the bottom, you just slide the card into the groove and just slide it down, just like that, and just uh, put everything back together.
Now these are still good little miners and you can get them really cheap now since uh, they're power hogs. But uh, if you got uh, solar and you got free power or just running during the daytime on your solar, they're good for uh, the money for uh, what you can pick them up for now. You can, I'm pretty sure you can get them on eBay now for about 50 bucks. The price has really dropped out on them since the corn price is so low right now. And I'm just like everybody else, waiting for 2024, waiting for all the prices to jump back up. And we'll find out here shortly if uh, everybody's correct or not. Sure hope so, I got a stack of coins already. And I'm gonna keep on stacking. But like I said, if you don't have uh, solar power, where you're getting free power and stuff, it's a, I'd get a different type of miner. But if you got free power and stuff, if, for $50, you can't go wrong. I remember uh, about a year and a half ago, maybe even less than that there, these miners were selling for $1,500. Put this board here, over here, so I can mark bad on it later. Plug the power and the, and the data cable back up. Okay, what is it? Just two power cables and one data cable per card. Like I said, it's really simple. Okay, let's plug the power back up. Like I said, I just got set in here temporary, so I don't have to work out this, work on this out in the garage. Just give it a minute to boot back up. It should only take about a minute here for it to go through its boot process, then we'll check it. You'll hear the fan ramp up a little bit. The reason this one's not so loud, because I got the fan turned way down. I only had a heating issue. I'm starting to hear the fans kick up. I'm gonna check and see if we can see it. Come back up here. Open up another page. Oh, now I have the fans coming up. And our IP address. Uh, hey, it was. 45, if I remember right, for the last. Yep, that was it. Oh, there you go. Like I said, the username's gonna be root. And password's gonna be root unless you change it. Okay, let's check the status. Oh, I'm seeing everything. 
We'll give it a minute to make sure the board stays up. As you can see, that was board one. You're seeing all the chips right now. Oh, we're not getting any hardware errors, which is good. Let's refresh the page. Oh, it's still looking good. All right, I'm going to put this back in my uh, Doge Litecoin farm out in the garage. And uh, they keep making that coin. Thank you for watching, and be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again.